we're starting the week with some classic avocado toast with eggs because I'm still obsessed with this breakfast. I'm starting by boiling two eggs and while they're boiling, I'm cutting an avocado in half and scooping it out. I'm mashing it up with a fork and seasoning with salt and pepper and of course some lemon juice. I'm also chopping up a few baby tomatoes to use on my other half toast. And for bread I'm using a wholemeal pita, as I find it's a bit lighter on my stomach so I'm just adding it to my toaster to toast. Once the pita was toasted, I cut it in half and for the one side I'm, I'm shredding some cream cheese and topping it with the baby tomatoes. And for the other half I'm adding the avocado and then the eggs. I just cut them in half and season with salt and pepper and breakfast was ready. Super simple and quick to make but delicious and filling. For lunch we're having chicken which is another one of my go-to's when I want something filling and high protein. I had previously made a couple of chicken breasts and this method is the best to make chicken breast that's not dry. I just added my chicken to a pan with some olive oil and seasoned with salt and pepper. I let it cook for a few minutes and then turn to the other side and season again. Also do a few cuts across the chicken breast to make sure the juices can escape and it can cook through. I then cover it with a lid and let it cook while turning occasionally. And then when I can see the chicken is fully cooked I let it crisp up for a few minutes without the lid. So I'm just adding a prepared chicken to warm up alongside some broccoli and some leftover rice from the day before. While everything is warming up, I'm serving some rocket on my bowl, added the warmed up broccoli and then added a couple of spoonfuls of sweet corn. I then served the rice and cut up the chicken breasts in somewhat bite-sized pieces before serving them to my bowl. And this meal is great as is, but I also decided to add a bit of this perinase as it makes everything taste even more delicious. After lunch I always want something sweet, so today I'm making a single serve crumble with cranberries and an apple. I'm just chopping up an apple in small pieces and adding it to an oven proof dish. I also added some cranberries as I love anything tart. I added a bit of maple syrup and cinnamon to the fruits and gave them a quick mix before making my crumble topping. For my topping I'm using some oats, almond flour and a bit of salt and cinnamon. I gave that a quick mix and then added some olive oil and maple syrup. I mixed everything well and then topped the fruits with a crumble mixture. I then baked it in a preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until the top is nice and golden. I enjoyed it plain with a cup of tea but you can also pair it with Greek yogurt or some ice cream. Dinner time and I'm making a quesadilla so I'm starting by chopping a bit of red pepper and some spring onion in small pieces. I added those in a pan and seasoned with a bit of this taco seasoning. I also tend to deglaze the pan with a bit of water to make sure nothing gets stuck. I then added some sweet corn and about half a cup of black beans. While the bean mixture is cooking, I made a quick guacamole to go with my quesadilla. I scooped out half an avocado and mashed it up with my fork. I then seasoned with salt and pepper and added some lime juice. I then added a few baby tomatoes and some red onion and gave it a quick mix. For my wrap, I'll be using these sweet potato ones as that's what I had in the house, so I'm spraying a pan with some olive oil spray and adding a wrap. I added a bit of cheese and then I topped it with a bean mixture. I then added a bit more cheese and added another wrap on top. I let it cook for a few minutes and then did my best to flip it to the other side without losing too much of the filling. Once it was crispy from both sides, I served it on my plate and cut it in little triangles. I then served the guacamole on top and dinner was ready. This was so delicious and felt both indulgent but also fresh with the guacamole. 10 out of 10. And the weather has turned so cold now, so I think it's the perfect time for hot chocolate. So I'm making mine by adding some oat milk in a little saucepan. I then added some cacao powder, maple syrup and whisked it well. And to make this more rich and creamy, I'm adding a small piece of dark chocolate and whisking again to make sure everything is combined. I then served it in my mug and this was the perfect end to my day. It's the next day and we're starting the day with more eggs as they're my favorite breakfast. So I'm cracking two eggs in a bowl and then adding a bit of egg whites to increase the protein. I'm whisking the egg mixture and adding it to my pan. I then topped it with a bit of roasted pepper. I then added a wrap on my plate and spread it a bit of cream cheese on top. I added the omelette and topped with a couple of lettuce leaves. I also added half an avocado and a few chopped up baby tomatoes. I then did my best to roll up the wrap but this is a gluten-free wrap so I feel like the odds were against me. But it held together for a bit and it was honestly so so delicious. I then served a little bowl of blueberries as I was also craving some fruit and that was breakfast. I was then a bit hungry again so I decided to make a second breakfast cause why not. So I'm making quick granola by adding some oats, almonds and cinnamon to my pan. I then added some maple syrup and mixed everything well and let it cook for a few minutes. I added it in a little bowl and I let it on the side so it can crisp up while I prep the rest of my bowl. To my bowl I added a few raspberries and then added a bit of Greek yogurt. I smoothed it out and then added more raspberries and then more yogurt. I smoothed it out again and then added a bit of this raspberry jam and spread it evenly. I then added some of my granola and second breakfast was ready. Let me know if you like to have two breakfasts by the way. I know this can be considered a snack or 11 but I like the idea of two breakfasts. 
For lunch, I'm making some biftecchia, aka Greek burgers, which are full of herbs, so I'm starting by chopping up some parsley and mint. Once I chop them up, I add it to my bowl, and then I'm grating about half a big onion. You can definitely chop it up in small pieces too, but I like to grate it so I don't have big chunks of onion in the mixture. So I've added that in too, and then I added my turkey mince. I seasoned with salt and pepper, and then added an egg and about a tablespoon of ketchup. I mixed the mixture with my hands, and then prepared the baking dish with some baking paper. I then shaped 5 burgers and patted them down with my hands to make them flat. I seasoned with salt and pepper and topped with some olive oil. I then baked them in a preheated oven until they were cooked through. For my side, I'm doing some vegetables and potatoes, so I'm cutting up this leftover courgette in medium-sized slices. I also got these yummy potatoes, I'm not sure if they're considered baby potatoes, but I'm just cutting them up in wedges. And then I'm also chopping up a pepper in medium pieces. I added all the vegetables in a baking dish lined with baking paper and topped with some olive oil and seasoned with salt and pepper. I then added it in the oven to bake. After 15 or 20 minutes, I also gave the burgers a flip so they can get some nice color on both sides. And now both my burgers and vegetables and potatoes are ready, so I'm adding some rocket to my bowl and then adding about half the tray of the vegetables and potatoes and the turkey burger. And to increase the protein even more, I'm adding a bit of cottage cheese too. And no meal is complete without some lemon juice on top, so I'm just adding some on top and lunch is ready. For my post-lunch sweet treat, I found this healthy apple pie recipe, so I'm starting by prepping my apples. I'm just peeling them and then slicing them in thin slices. I added them in a bowl and then added a bit of oat flour, maple syrup and cinnamon and mixed them well. I sprayed the cake tin with some olive oil spray and then added my apples on top. I baked it for a bit and while the apples are baking, I'm prepping the pie topping. To my bowl, I added an egg vanilla extract, maple syrup, olive oil, salt, Greek yogurt, cornstarch and oat flour. I gave it a good mix and then I took my apples out of the oven and topped them with the pie topping. I spread it around evenly with the back of my spatula and put it back in the oven to bake until it's nice and golden. I then served myself about a quarter of it and this was honestly so tasty and light. I will definitely be making it again. I'll leave a link to the recipe down below as the guy that came up with it is a genius. This is delicious. And now time for my workout. I'm not usually an evening workout person, but today was the only time to get it done once Lily was down for bed. And today's workout is upper body, but all of my workouts have a strong core section. As I've told my trainer, I'm trying to get my core to be strong again after having a baby. So she always kills me with the core exercises at every workout. And I've now started working with an online personal trainer using the Copilot app and I've been loving the workouts and it's the most consistent I've been in such a long time. This video isn't sponsored by Copilot, but I just genuinely love the app as you get a real person creating workouts for you and checking on your progress so it's been a game changer for me in terms of consistency i will leave a link down below if you want to try it and as always elsie is my workout buddy and today she got very excited by me being on the floor she wanted so many cuddles and she thought anytime i did a push-up it was an invitation to play and have more cuddles but i finally managed to finish my workout For dinner, I wanted something quick and high protein, so I'm adding some rocket and baby tomatoes to my bowl. I then chopped up a turkey burger from lunch and added it on top alongside a lot of cottage cheese, as it's super high in protein and I just love it. I added some olive oil and lemon and dinner was ready. Super tasty and took 5 minutes to put together. Today's workout is lower body and core and please excuse the crazy hairstyle, I was trying out these heatless curlers that you wrap your head around the silk rope and sleep on them overnight so I hadn't taken that out yet. Let me know if you tried those curlers by the way and if you like them, they didn't turn out as I expected but I might give them another try. Also in terms of music for workouts, I'll leave my favorite playlist in the description below, it's basically the high energy workout mix on Spotify and it has some great songs but my favorite recently is the 2000s hits mashup, it really has all the good ones but let me know what you like to listen to when you work out for my post workout i'm making a protein smoothie and this is my go-to i just add frozen spinach and mango and a bit of cucumber to my blender i then add a scoop of vegan protein powder and blend this is the perfect combo of sweet from the mango and fresh and earthy from the cucumber, spinach and vegan protein. For breakfast, I'm starting by chopping up a bit of pepper. I'm also mashing up half an avocado ready for my pita toast. Once I toasted my pita, I cut it in half and topped one half with the avocado. I then topped with two boiled eggs and seasoned with salt and pepper. And for the other half, I'm doing some hummus and topping with the pepper slices. This is such a great combo and so filling, especially with the protein smoothie. 
for lunch I'm warming up some leftovers so I'm just adding the vegetable and potato mixture I prepped yesterday to warm up in the oven. I also have more chicken so I'm just chopping it up and adding it to my pan to warm up. For my greens I'm doing some rocket as that's my favorite green and added some olive oil, lemon and seasoned with salt. Once the vegetables were warmed through I served them on my plate and then added the chicken too. And of course more lemon because I love lemon on everything. And that perinaise as I'm obsessed. And lunch was ready again super quick but so tasty. I love having leftovers. And speaking of leftovers I'm having the last piece of my apple pie as you can tell James has been loving it too and it was a hit with Lily too so basically everyone loved it. Dinner time is pizza time this evening so I'm adding a big flatbread on my pizza pan and adding some passata on top. I spread it evenly and then topped with some dried basil. And for cheese, I'm doing a mixture of mozzarella and cheddar today. For toppings, I'm adding a bit of my prepped chicken, onion and sweet corn. I then added it in a preheated oven to bake for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is all melty and the edges are a bit crispy. I love this pizza as it's so quick to make but also feels light and healthy. It's another day and today is my favorite workout of the week which is the full body circuits workout so I'm just prepping all of my equipment. By the way I love having an ottoman as I can hide so many things in it. I have most of my weights and all of our game boards. By the way let me know what is your favorite board game. Mine is definitely Articulate. I feel like I know all the cards now. I've played it so much. Anyways back to the workout. This is the first time I'm doing proper strength training split and I've been loving it. I've been looking forward to all the workouts and I love increasing the weights. Although I still don't lift very heavy but it's nice to to see the progressions within a month. Post-workout smoothie is the same as yesterday. I really should try and mix it up, but I just love that I don't even have to think about it. I just add everything to my blender and it tastes delicious and gives me the protein I need after my workout. But let me know if you have a favorite smoothie recipe. would love to hear what you like. Then for breakfast, I'm making an omelette, so I'm cracking two eggs and adding some egg whites for extra protein. I'm whisking it well and then adding it to my pan and I did some roasted pepper on top. I also had this tiny piece of cheddar, so I'm adding it on top as well, although to be honest, it was such a tiny piece, it didn't give much of a flavor, but anyways. And then for the side, I'm adding two of these crisp breads. These are so tasty. If you haven't tried them, give them a go. I get them at Tesco and they're so nice. I topped them with some avocado and then served my omelette on the side. And breakfast was served. For my morning snack, I'm making a hot chocolate as this was so good earlier in the week. I definitely love more of a bitter hot chocolate, so this was so yummy and not too sweet. And I know it's a bit more effort than just Cadbury's hot chocolate, but in my opinion, it tastes so much better and cacao is so good for you. I feel like this is a health drink, basically. For lunch, I'm making some salmon and I love classic lemon and dill combo. So I'm just slicing some lemon and chopping up a bit of dill. I then added my salmon fillets in a baking pan and seasoned with salt and pepper. I topped with some olive oil and then added the dill and mixed it around with my hands to coat the fish all around. I topped with the lemon slices and put it in a preheated oven to bake for about 20 or 30 minutes or until the fish is cooked through. While the fish is cooking, I'm boiling some potatoes to make a potato salad. I then chopped a small bunch of dill and some pickles. Once the potatoes were cooked and had cooled down a bit, I also chopped them in smaller pieces. I then added them in a big bowl and then added the dill and the pickles and seasoned with salt and pepper. I added some olive oil and vinegar and gave it a good mix. And then for my dressing, I'm doing a lemon and mustard dressing. So to my bowl, I'm adding some olive oil, mustard, seasoned with salt and pepper and added some lemon juice, water and maple syrup. I gave it a good whisk and it's ready to use. And now onto making my bowl, I'm adding some shredded lettuce and then adding about half of the potato salad and then lastly a salmon fillet. Finally, I topped everything with my mustard dressing and lunch was ready. This was so delicious and the herbs make such a big difference. It was amazing. For dessert, I'm cooking some bananas, so I'm starting by adding some coconut oil to my pan. I also added some honey, cinnamon and a bit of salt. I let it melt and then I got a banana and chopped about half in small slices. Once the mixture in the pan was melted, I added the banana slices and let them cook for a few minutes. I then flip them to the other side and let them cook for a few more minutes so they can get all nice and caramelized. I then serve them in a little bowl and top them with a spoonful of almond butter. Mm. 
This is so good. If you want a quick sweet after lunch or dinner, definitely recommend. You can also have it over yogurt. It's so good. Let's hope I don't burn myself again. For dinner, I wanted something comforting as it was a cold and rainy evening, so I'm making some mac and cheese. While the pasta is boiling, I'm making the cheesy sauce by starting to make a bechamel. So I added some olive oil and flour in my pan and whisked it well. I then added some milk and continued to whisk until it thickens up. I'm also boiling some broccoli to add to my mac and cheese as I love that combo. I then grated loads of cheese. I did a mixture of mozzarella and cheddar, but I think anything you have in the fridge would do. I then added the cheese to the bechamel and gave it a good whisk. I seasoned with salt and pepper and added some paprika too. And now my pasta was ready, so I've added the cheesy sauce, the broccoli, and topped with more black pepper. I then served myself a big bowl, and this was like a hug in a bowl. It was so comforting and delicious. For breakfast this morning, I'm treating myself to some Starbucks, so I'm getting my favorite thing from them, which is this vegan breakfast sandwich and an Americano coffee. For lunch, I had made myself a packed lunch the day before with some lettuce, the potato salad, and the other salmon fillet. So I had that and it was so tasty, even on the next day. It was great to have something healthy with minimum effort. For dessert today, I popped into Holland and Barrett, so I got these Alma buttercups. I also picked up some other bits and bobs, but I just had these two chocolate cups with my cup of tea. And then dinner, I was really missing my omelette as I didn't have eggs in the morning, so I'm making it for dinner. I'm cracking two eggs and I did some egg whites and then adding them to my pan. I then added lots of feta and some paprika and let it cook through. I served some lettuce on my bowl and the omelette and that was dinner. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some inspiration for some healthy meals. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.